Okay, welcome. Um, this is part of the Academic Search Complete tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to get to Academic Search Complete from the library's homepage. So this is the library's homepage. Um, you can see our address is up here. It's lib.uci.edu. And to get to the course guide for writing 39C, you're going to come down here to the Subject and Course Guides tab and just click on this. And you can see we have Writing 39C Argument and Research right here. So I'm going to click on that. And a new tab um, for the sample today. We're going to take a look at the new Jim Crow. So I'm going to click on the tab for your text, but of course you can click on the tab for your class. And we're going to go in and look at the databases. And I want you to take a look at the list of resources we've provided. And if you notice, there's a little asterisk right after the um, title of the database in the list. That asterisk means that you need to log into the VPN if you're connecting from off campus. This will allow um, the library's resources to recognize your computer as a UCI computer, and you'll be able to get access to all of the articles and information the same way you would if you were working from a computer in the library. So if you haven't, done this already and you're working from home, pause the tutorial, go take care of that. The next thing I want you to take a look at is um, you can see we have several databases listed as good resources for you. And um, keep in mind this name of criminal justice abstracts. I'm going to show you a trick when we go into Academic Search Complete on how we can search through Criminal Justice Abstracts and Academic Search Complete at the same time because they're both provided to the library through a service called EBSCOhost. So go ahead and click on the link for Academic Search Complete and then we can um, start our search from there. Great, so we've clicked on the link and this is the landing page for Academic Search Complete couple of things we're going to cover before I even start searching with you is why are we learning this database. Academic Search Complete is a great multi-subject database that indexes over 13,000 journals. Of those journals, 9,000 are full text, 7,900 of those 9,000 are peer-reviewed. It is a multidisciplinary database, it spans multiple subjects, it has both scholarly and popular resources, so it's a great starting point for any of your research. The second thing I want to point out before we begin searching is the name of this database is Academic Search Complete. Why am I saying that? You can see the name of the database up here. You can also see this big, nice blue EBSCO host icon. The name of the database is an EBSCO. EBSCO is the library publisher, and they bring lots of databases to the library. So if you're doing some research and you come to get help from your professor or from a librarian, and you tell them that you've been searching in EBSCO, it's sort of like telling them that you've been looking for a pair of shoes in the mall, right? kind of helpful, not incorrect, but knowing a specific store is going to be a lot better. And the other neat thing about knowing that EBSCOhost is the publisher is they bring us multiple library databases. So if we go over here to this choose database option and let it load for a moment, you can see that we've selected Academic Search Complete and there's that rundown of the information I gave you a second ago. We can also come over here to Criminal Justice Abstracts and select this one. Now, you know this is a database you might want to use for the new Jim Crow because it's on our Writing 39C course guide. Um, and you can also look at the description in the corner here and see more information about that. So with just a little click, I can search two databases at once and be much more efficient in my searching. So I'm going to click OK. And that's going to take me back to the advanced search page. And I'm ready to start searching for my articles. Now I'm ready to start doing my searching. So I'm going to come up here to the search bars. And my topic is the school to prison pipeline. I want to learn more about that. 
And so I can start just by typing in a term that I'm looking for. So if I type in school to prison pipeline like this, you can see that um, the database is giving me some suggestions of other things I could look for. These are not put together by the database. These are other search terms that people have looked for. So they might be useful to take a look at, but um, don't feel like you have to pick these. Um, or if you are choosing these, don't think that they'll definitely get you results. Sometimes your own um, selections are going to be just fine. So for right now, I'm just going to do skill to prison pipeline like this. Nothing special, no quotes, and I want to see what the search results look like. And it's good. so I have done a search for school to prison pipeline and what it's doing is it's looking for all the words in my search for school to prison pipeline anywhere in the item record. Um, one thing you'll notice in terms of our results are these little icons here. Um, anything that looks like this, of course, is an academic journal. EBSCO is pretty nice. It tells you right away what sort of resource you're looking at before you even click into it. You can also scroll down a little bit. If you see something here that says periodical, this is a newspaper or a magazine. And so those are more popular resources. They're excellent for getting you up to speed really quickly. Um, and then academic resources are going to be a little bit longer, give you some more context, be more scholarly. So I want to start narrowing down my search results. One of the things you can do is come over here to this limit two box. And most of these are fairly recent. Um, you can see that the school to prison pipeline in terms of a term probably only goes back to about 2003 and we'll do another search that might widen that a little bit. Um, so one of the first things I like to do is I like limiting my results to the last five years. So let's put in 2010 and that has narrowed my search a little bit so it's from 150 to 111. The other thing I can do is I can limit my results to scholarly and peer-reviewed journals. So let's do that for now. And now we have 75. Um, that's well, You can skim through 75 abstracts and titles and get a good idea of what's going on. So now that we've limited our results to something a little more manageable, let's take a look at the actual record. Um, so we're just going to take a look at the first one. And so this is an item record. This is the item record for the article. And you can see our search terms have shown up in bold. So school, prison, pipeline, it ignored the two, but it's right in the title, which is always very nice. It is also showing up in the abstract or the summary of the article that the authors put together. They tell us a little bit about the source. So this particular article came from the Arkansas Law Review, and we have the information about when it was published. We also know which database this came out of. So this one came out of Academic Search Complete. As you are searching, you may see some that come out of Criminal Justice Abstracts. So great, I'm going to read this abstract carefully, and I've decided that I want this for my my research. I'm going to find this. So the, what I'm going to do for this one is come over here and there's this PDF full text link. I can just click on that and it should open right up. So I've clicked on the PDF link and it has opened this for me and I can see my articles right here. And I can now save this. I can send a link of it to myself. If you want to come over here and use the permalink option, always, always, always use this permalink over here. Don't use this link at the top. This link at the top is tied to a saved search 
it's going to time out. You might get back to the database, but that'll be about it. If you want to get back to this article, use the permalink. Um, you can always download the PDF and email it to yourself or keep it on your computer. The other important thing that you can do from here is you can go to this site button, this little yellow thing over here. Click on this and what will open up is the citation information for this article in the different um, citation formats. So for this class we're using MLA. We scroll down a little bit, you can copy and paste this into a Word doc or into a Google doc and keep track of your citations as you go. One of the things you need to be aware of is this is the building block of your citation. So you're still going to have to double check that all the periods are in the right place. You're going to have to put in the hanging indent. You're going to have to make sure everything's italicized. It needs to be italicized. Um, but this will give you the information to find this article again if you need it. Um, so keep track of this as you go. It'll save you a headache down the road and that'll be wonderful. So we're going to go back to the results list and we're going to try a slightly different search. And I want to show you what happens if you don't have the PDF icon. So we're going to go down here to number three and click on this one. Again, we see our search terms are in bold. I go down to the abstract. Abstract looks pretty good. And this one, see, comes from criminal justice abstracts. So I want to get this article, but I don't have that little red PDF over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this yellow UCE links button for the full text. And you can see um, as I hover, it says check for full text. So that's what you're going to do if you don't see that PDF. So I click on that. And this is going to crawl out into all of the electronic resources the UCI has and see if we have it somewhere. And most of the time it should pop right up in this little window here. This article has a PDF of the free text, so I can click over here and now I have my copy of the article. It just is coming to us from a different database. So that's the way that you can get an article that's not available as full text. So I'm going to go back here and again in the record there's our site button. You can use that to get the citation and I do encourage you to keep track of those as you go. We had some really good luck with searching for the school to prison pipeline but I just want to make sure that I am finding all of the articles that might be out there for me during my search. So I'm going to show you how to construct a search in a slightly different way um, and this will also work really well if you're working on a topic that maybe doesn't have a nice um, phrase like school to prison pipeline that kind of sums up what you mean, you may have to use individual keywords and cobble something together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for schools and prison. And I'm going to look for articles on racism, racial profiling, racial discrimination, but I don't want to type all of that out because I'm lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in RCI and then an asterisk. And that tells the database that I want to look for words that start RCI and then the rest of the word can be anything. So this should catch everything that I'm looking for. So it should catch, you know, racism, racist, racial, and then all the adjectives that come afterwards. The other thing I wanted to show you that we're going to do differently for this search is you can limit your um, search before you go in. So before we searched really wide 
and then we narrowed things down. But now that I know that there's a lot out there, I want to just start with things right off the bat that I know I'm going to be interested in. So I'm going to scroll down here and you can limit some of your options from the beginning. So I want only scholarly or peer reviewed journals and I want to limit my results from 2010 to 2015. I have the option of limiting by language. I'll show you how to do that. Um, for this search it's less important but Sometimes there are articles in other languages. So if you're getting one or two articles in another language, I would say just scroll by and skip them. But if you're getting a page of search results in Spanish, come back to this advanced screen and go ahead and limit it to English unless you're very fluent in Spanish. I have my search set up. I have some of my limiters put on. I'm gonna go ahead and click search. And you can see that while some of the search results are the same as what we got last time, some of them are in a different order, right? So this one doesn't have school to prison pipeline in the title like some of our previous ones did, but if we open up this item record, and scroll down a bit, we see that according to the author, that's what this article is about. And this would have been pushed further down in our previous search results. So that's something to keep in mind that different searches will bring you slightly different results or reorder the results based on how you structure them. So just as before, our search terms are highlighted in bold. So here's school, uh, racially showed up, racial, so I already have two different versions of the word that I truncated, which is good, uh, prison, so that's how that type of search works. And just to review, I don't have the PDF, so I'm going to click on this yellow UCE links button. And this is going to crawl out into all of our online databases to see if we have access to the full text. And great, so this took us to a page and it looks like we should be able to get it online, but we're going to have to do a little bit more digging. So I'm going to go to Elsevier Science Direct, which is just the name of another database, nothing to be afraid of. And here's my article. It's up here. I can download the PDF and use it that way. So sometimes it can take a few clicks to get the article that you want. Congratulations, you now know how to use Academic Search Complete to find scholarly articles. Go ahead and practice on your own to find resources for your historical conversations project. And if you need any help at all, please join me on the Ask a Librarian discussion board or go to our website, www.lib.uci.edu, and click on the Ask a Librarian button there, and we'll be happy to help you.